Welcome my friends. Thanks so much for joining me today. This practice is great for those times when you feel like you just need a refresh or refocus and rejuvenate your energetic body and to calm and recenter your mind from whatever is going on from your day. So use this practice to find peace on a rough day. Each of us have the ability to actively shift our state of being to whatever we choose, to happiness, peace, and gratitude within. Allow your time on the mat, your yoga practice, to be the change agent of your physical and mental well-being. With that said, I'll join you seated on the mat. Come to a comfortable cross-leg seated position, sitting up nice and tall, hands resting wherever is comfortable, and gently close your eyes. Take a moment here to set your intention of your practice. We'll do this by bringing to mind one word that describes how you want to feel today after you step off of the mat and into your day. As we flow in our practice today, with each breath you take, I want you to actively breathe in this energy of your intention. I'll provide gentle cues of this throughout. Let's make our way to hands and knees to take a few cat cows. We'll take cat cow at our own feel good pace, inhaling as you lower your belly and lift your gaze for cow pose, breathing in that energy of your intention into your body and exhaling, navel draws the spine, crown of head lowers towards the mat for cat pose. Breathing out any undesirable feelings, thoughts, emotions, or stuck negative energy. Unite with your breath. Use your breath to best support you. Beautiful, return to neutral. Tuck your toes and lift those hips to down dog. Begin to pedal one heel to the mat and then the other, tending to the space of your back side of your legs, working out any tightness or tension you may be feeling. Notice how it melts away with each step you take. And we'll settle into center, both heels sinking to the mat, your sternum falling through center. Glance forward. We'll step one foot to the front of the mat and then the other, coming to our forward fold. Your feet hip width apart. We'll breathe in, lift to find your flat back and exhale, release forward. Big, beautiful breath in of your intention as you circle your fingertips up to the sky. Palms kiss and lower prayer to heart. Let's circle our right back up, deep breath in, breathing in the energies of your intention. And we'll exhale to dive right down through center. Fingertips to the mat. Step your right leg back. Your front knee aligns over your ankle. And as you breathe in, extend your fingertips up to the sky. High lunge. Check in with your shoulders to ensure they're square to the front of the mat. Your hips square. It can help to energetically scissor your legs towards each other you feel your right hip move forward as your left hip slides back just a little. Now let's lower your back heel to the mat so your foot becomes parallel with the short edge of the mat for our warrior two pose. Adjust your stance for a nice wide stance so your front thigh lowers parallel with the mat. And begin to tune into your breath, energetically breathing in your intention. And with each exhale, Allow your hips to really sink into the pose. Let's straighten your front leg. Bring your back foot in to a comfortable stance for triangle pose. Breathe in to extend your arms side to side. And exhale, shift your hips back in space as you reach your front fingertips forward. Until you can't reach forward anymore, then you'll lower your fingertips to your shin, your ankle, or the mat. Opposite fingertips extend to the sky. Go ahead and lift your gaze. Your shoulders stack one on top of the other. 
for a nice long line from fingertip to fingertip. Lengthen your tailbone towards your back heel, noticing the subtle shifts and sensations within your body as you align. Beautiful, my friend. Press into your front heel to rise up. Bend back into your front knee and fan your hands so fingertips frame your front foot. We'll shift your weight into your front foot coming into half moon pose next. So begin to lift your back leg, that foot flexed, and then stack your hips, bringing your legs so it's parallel with the earth. On your inhale, extend your right fingertips to the sky, torso opens up to the right side space. Your tailbone lengthens towards your extended heel. The heel is energetically reaching back. Now with control, on your next exhalation, lower your leg coming back into warrior two pose. Circle your back arm down, around and up. Back foot pivots for high lunge. And circle your arms down to frame your front foot. We'll step back for plank pose. Exhale to lower to chaturanga. Breathing in those feel good vibes of your intention as you press up to upward facing dog. Your heart shining. And lift your hips to down dog. Glance forward to step one foot to the front of the mat and then the other for your forward fold. Feet parallel, hip width apart. Breathe and lift halfway, long spine, crown of head reaching forward. And exhale, melt chest to thighs. Big beautiful breath in of your intention as you circle your fingertips up to the sky, palms kiss and lower prayer to heart. Circling right back up, deep breath in, breathing in energies of your intention. And we'll dive it right down through center. Fingertips to the mat to step your left leg back. Ensure your front knee aligns over your ankle. And breathe in to reach your fingertips to the sky. Shoulders square to the front of the mat. Your hips square to the front of the mat. Energetically scissoring your legs towards each other. This time your left hip moves forward and your right hip slides back, squaring them up. Lower your back heel to the mat so foot becomes parallel with the short edge for warrior two. Arms fan side to side. Fingertips reaching in opposite directions. Adjusting your stance as needed for a nice wide stance so your front thigh lowers parallel with the mat. And let's tune into your breath. Breathing in the energies of your intention through your nose. And with each exhalation, allowing your hips to sink lower into the pose for a nice deep opening. Straighten your front leg, preparing for triangle pose, so bring your back foot in to a comfortable stance. And once you have it, we'll breathe in to extend your arms side to side, and exhale, shift your hips back as your front fingertips reach forward until they can't reach forward anymore, and then we'll lower them down to the mat, your shin, or your ankles. Extend opposite fingertips to the sky. Lift your gaze towards the extended hand. Stack your shoulders. Lengthen your tailbone towards your back heel. Noticing how this affects your hips and the alignment in your body. Beautiful, my friend. Press into your front heel to rise up. We'll bend into your front knee and fan your hands so your fingertips frame your front foot. Shift your weight into your front foot, preparing for our half moon pose. So lift your back leg to stack your hips, bringing your legs so it's parallel with the earth, that foot flexed. Extend your left fingertips to the sky, opening your torso to the left side space. Now your tailbone lengthens towards your extended heel, and the heel is energetically reaching back. With control, on your next exhale, 
Lower your leg, coming back into warrior two pose. Circle your back arm down, around and up as you pivot on your back foot for high lunge. And then we'll circle your arms down to frame your front foot. Step back for plank pose. Exhale to lower to chaturanga. And we'll breathe in those feel good vibes of your intention to lift to your upward facing dog. Hips press up to down dog. In our down dog, let's return to our breath. Breathing deep and using our breath. This amazing tool to center and calm you and cultivate positive energy. We're breathing in vibes of your feel-good intention and exhaling out, letting go of anything that does not support your balanced, healthy body and mind. Lower your knees to the mat. Bring them as wide as the mat. Big toes come in to kiss. Rest your hips to your heels. And we'll melt your torso right through center, coming into wide knees, child's pose. Fingertips extended long. And take a slow sway of your hips side to side. Finding what feels good here, massaging the space of your hips. You can continue this slow sway side to side as long as calling to you. Whenever you're ready, you can settle into stillness at center. Let your palms kiss the mat, forehead kisses the mat, and return to your breath work, breathing in those amazing vibes of your intention while you use the exhale to release and let go. Press your palms into the mat to round forward into cat pose. Inhale to lower your belly into cow pose. And then make your way to a comfortable cross leg seated position. And let's take a moment here with eyes closed and a long spine to check in with your energetic body and notice how you're feeling, noticing the effects of your practice. And one last big beautiful breath in, gathering your intention as you circle your fingertips up to the sky. Palms kiss and bring it down to heart center. Bring your thumbs to your sternum to seal those vibes in. And sternum reaches up to your thumbs. Beautiful, my friend. I'm sending love and light to you and all beings. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you experienced a feel-good, uplifting shift in your energies, providing your body and mind a refresh for the remainder of the day. Comment below and let me know that one word you chose as a feeling you cultivated during your practice. I'll be sure to share mine below too. If you enjoyed the practice, be sure to throw the video a thumbs up and please take a moment now to subscribe to my channel to help support my work and making yoga free and accessible to all to lift each other up. From my heart to yours.